Hey everybody, welcome to Draw My Life. Now, I'm just telling you right now, I am not the world's best artist, so let's let bygones be bygones, and let's just accept that I cannot draw to save a life. So I guess we're going to start out with me, but before I was even really born, I guess, my parents kind of existed. I had the typical family, I guess. I had a dad, a mom, and I guess I had a brother too. His name is Eric. He was a whole four years older than me. And I don't know why I'm talking in past tense. They're all still alive and breathing. But, anyways, okay. So I guess even though I was a little swan, I just was a happy little go-getter. So as a little kid, I was, I guess you could say, pretty happy. I had no fears, no worries. And I lived in a pretty normal neighborhood with normal people and normal upbringing, I guess you could say. And I was into the many things that many kids my age were into at the time, including Spice Girls, Pokemon, and who can forget the good old Backstreet Boys, right? I guess that's where my love of boy bands started. But then, as I got into school, I thought I was going to be pretty happy. But then I realized going into school meant not being happy. I suffered with many things such as ADHD and OCD, so it was really hard for me to focus in school, which is why I totally hated it. And of course this caused me to not really have any friends, as I was often an outsider. And girls loved to pick on me. They loved to be mean to me and say mean things to me, even as a young person. They would say all these awful words to me, and I wouldn't know what to do. And you'd think even as if you got older they would mature, but it even got worse, as their slanders and slurs got even more disgusting and even more hurtful. These girls had no idea who I was, and yet they thought I was this person that they could make fun of just because I was an easy target. At the end of the day, I was the gross girl, and I was not cool. So basically since then, I've tried so hard getting to people like me, and I know that sounds really weird, but I would try and do stupid stuff just to get people to notice me. But I always did have that one person who didn't give two shits. Her name was Shay, and again, I don't know why I'm talking in past tense, she's still alive, but yes, she is my best friend, and even when people were mean to me, she would still be there, and she just wouldn't give two shits, because that's the kind of person she is. She does not put up with bullshit. She just lives the life she wouldn't want to live it. So I entered high school thinking that everything would be flip and dandy, right? I mean, I had everything that you could want. I had a legit group of friends, and even some boys along the way that, you know, won my heart over. I was living your typical high school life throughout my freshman and sophomore year. I wasn't considered cool, but I felt cool because I had everything that I thought I needed to be cool. But then again, that all went away very quickly when people discovered my YouTube at school. Goodbye friends, goodbye boys, goodbye anything, any chance of being a happy person in high school. So once again, I was sad and this and alone. Luckily, YouTube was there to help me, but it was still a sad, lonely world. All I could do was connect with people on YouTube, and I would always try and help people and say, you know what, it's okay if people are mean to you, because I'm here for you. At this time in my life, things were not going right. My parents still hated me. Well, I shouldn't say hated me, but it was just a tough time with them. My brother, huge tough time with him. Friends, barely any. Boys, non-existent. And I was having a really hard time with my religion, too, as I was contemplating whether is there a God? Is, is there someone who's really looking out for me after all these bad things are happening to me? I was a sad little girl. And even though I was 16, 17, I was not the girl that everyone wanted to be. I was miserable and alone, but I would hide it with anger, and I hurt a lot of people throughout my life because of these problems. My life was non-existent, and all I could do was just pray that hopefully something good comes through on this. Then finally grade 12 came, and lots of things changed that year. Lots of good, but these were lots of worse too. I got some new friends, I had some boys that I knew. I also lost a lot of friends, and I also met some uh, very interesting boys. So in the end, I guess it was your typical senior year. You learn a lot, but it was still a good time. I thought graduating would be awesome, you know, I'm going to college, I'm going to do all these great things. I'm going to be an amazing person. But actually, it wasn't like that at all. I was all of them. I, my first year of college was horrible. I didn't really do anything. I just sat at home all day. So many things in college.
what just happened. And I just, I guess, I know I didn't really have that lot of friends. I didn't really know any guys in college. And I was basically living no life. But I guess over the last summer, I decided that I needed to change. That this is not the way that I should be living my college years. And especially ever since my nana died, I realized that, you know, I gotta live my life through her. And I gotta see that, you know, there's a better day. Even though she's not here now, she's always in my heart, and I always make every decision with her in my mind. Whether it be good or bad, I know that I'm doing everything I can for her. So now I look at my life, and it seems pretty dandy. Friends, I got in check. Boys, eh, uh, we don't need them anymore. Well, maybe, but we'll find it, figure that out in the future. Life, eh, it's pretty okay. And religion, well, let's just say me and God are on speaking terms again, and I'm thanking him every day for this life that I'm living. So I guess this is, you know, my life, you know. I'm never going to be fully happy, I don't think, but that's okay. There are five boys that do make me very happy, though. Even when I'm not around, even when I'm sad alone, they can always make me feel better. School, on the other hand, I have no idea what I'm doing. But you know what? I'm only 20 years old. I can figure that out at all someday. Family? Well, that's another tricky thing, too. But you know what? I figure I just might as well be living and not worry about that kind of stuff for right now. At the end of the day, I just want to tell you guys that I love you. Like, seriously, any viewer who watches my YouTube, whether you want to hate on me or not, I just, I just love you guys and I'm making this for you so you can understand who I am and my life. And I hope you guys make a draw your life too, so please make a video response to this because I would love to see all your guys so we can get to know each other better and just be BFS on YouTube. And yeah, that's my awful drawing. I'm again, I'm really so sorry. But anyways, I love you all, and thank you for watching.